got a unit that's not running it at all. Let's get in here and see what it's doing. What I like about these ones is that they have this computer control board. It usually tells you what's wrong. So we've got a high pressure lockout. Now I want to get connected to this unit before I power it off and restart it. So I'm going to get everything hooked up. All right, so now I'm all connected. Got my suction on the suction side and our liquid line is over here. Now I'm ready to power off and power back on. So I'm going to shut it off and let it stay off for about five seconds, 10 seconds maybe. Then we'll turn it back on and see what it does. Could be the motor, could be a few different things. We're just waiting on the countdown. See if it starts up. Oh, we got no fan really. That fan don't want to go. I bet you that capacitor's weak on that fan. All right, so I'm gonna turn it back off. Find my capacitor back there. Okay, gotta disconnect one of them to be able to test it. So, at least one. Or you will get inaccurate readings. Invalid readings. Usually I just pull the, the start winding wire off. So, just like that. Okay, so this motor is not quite as simple as we thought. That is a five microfarad capacitor and it's testing at five, but we've got this uh, fan speed control. So it could be that it was normal for it to start spinning that slow. We're gonna find out. Yes sir, I believe that's normal because I've got it energized now and it seems to be maintaining. Of course, we need the indoor fan motor on, the fan's not on, but. It's not uh, overheating yet. Not high pressure yet. So let's see, I got it back on now and it's been running for a little while. I and mean, it's running a good nine, 10 degree sub cool. It's doing pretty good. This is the temperature going into our blower that's being pulled across our evaporator. So in a way that's our supply line temperature. I mean, our supply air temperature. It's in dehumidification mode, which means it uses these controls here and it does something through this piping that I'm not sure about. So right now we're running in eight degree subcool, nine degree subcool. I mean, it seems to be working pretty good for my opinion. I'm not sure why it would have gone up to trip the high pressure event. Because this thing down here seems to be operating correctly maintaining the head pressure around 353 350 something like that you know so we've had some storms coming through here the last couple of days I suppose it is possible that a storm came through here and caused something to act funny who knows maybe this thing got struck by lightning I have no idea but I do know that this thing's working the way it's supposed to because if not, it would be faulting on that damn computer thing right there. So, I'm just gonna close it out because we don't have time to be searching for problems that don't exist. Way too busy for that. So, see you later.